Gaia is saying that humanity is about to see very clearly all the illusions, distractions and lies. I'm Sharon Martin and I bring three messages from our beautiful divine goddess Lady Gaia. So today I want to bring through to you the messages that I have channeled and brought through as transmissions from her over the past couple of weeks. So I'm just going to bring up my notes. So she said, so this was June the 17th, humanity as you know is going through challenging times. Issues are arising. Truth is rising to be seen and dealt with, healed and amended for an evolutionary leap for mankind. As we strongly shift lower dimensional aspects, programs and conditions, limited thinking, wounds and beliefs, this will enable and assist us to move into more and more fifth dimensional frequency and living. This is a matter for all, for each and every one of you to take into your own hands, your own accountability for your own vibration, your own frequency, for your own thoughts, your own words and actions, to come into greater connection to your own heart, to deeply love yourself and to begin to love your life from this higher perspective, to examine self to uncover the hidden lies, truths, wounds, and to attend to these in order that you may come into your own healed wholeness and balance. And then from this place, you can begin to have a more peaceful, harmonious, love-filled life. So then with each contributing to the whole, to the unified field of humanity, to the frequency of paradise, of our fifth dimensional earth and this will contribute to the health wealth and prosperity of our new earth a new way of being with one another and with all sentient beings this also brings into co-creation and collaboration our paradise on earth and our higher dimensional frequency and existence where love leads the way so the next day this is a letter from here, a letter from Gaia, um, brought through on the 18th of June, 2021. My beloved children, how I love you. I, sorry, I feel very moved when I read this. <laughs> it is with much ease in my heart that I tell you we have made it. We have made it through this time of great change change in both direction and evolution. We are now in the early stages of transfiguration. That is the physical movement of change in the body. We're in the early stages of transfiguration of the human body and in the latter stages of exiting out the dross. We're in this evolutionary new moment in time. As we are evaluating on many levels, reassessing, but particularly and what must leave, what must go, what needs to be transferred and transformed, transmuted. And that is now happening on a physical level, on the physical plane, as well as on the energetic plane. We are right now in the process of creation, of magicking up of the new and what is required for then you to be playing with the juggling of the aspects of that. What is required in our new fifth dimensional existence. And whilst there is much existing templating that has occurred in the past and in other planetary realms, we have a particular flavor here on Earth. And so that is beginning to be developed like the fine tuning of a new musical instrument. As we move through this transitional phase into stronger fifth dimensional frequencies, you will become more aware of the changes around you in your world. These changes will be reflected in your own individual energy fields and body. It will become easier for you to 
to perceive lies and transgressions. Thus, you will know this from an energetic standpoint. You will know whether something you have read or heard or felt has truth or not, or that it has strandings of truth or not. Many truths will arise. Many of the main pillars of our world will begin to show up as having strong deficits. So we are speaking here about all of the ways in which our society has been governed, ruled, um, corporatized, organized, managed. Uh, so this is politics and government. This is education. This is health and pharmaceuticals and medical. This is the mainstream media. This is our film industry. This is food and production, agriculture, uh, finance and banking. There'll, there'll be others that I've missed out. But each of those, they're really going to be seen for how they have not served us as humanity. And we're going to see that very clearly. Gaia says, to, con to continue, you will witness these being revealed and then crumbling and dissolving. New templates will be introduced. And I know that first waivers have been, you know, given this task that many of them are beginning to do that already. So they'll be developing those templates in the energetic fields. And when they are refined and in the perfect timing, they'll be dropped into the physical. And so these will be introduced and then they will be to support and benefit humanity. And you will notice, Guy says, more ease and peace and harmony in your body. The planet is going to speed up and has already speed up a little. And this is affecting cells wobbling because of slight movement and a shift through the access point. So the slight tip is what's contributing to this feeling of discombobulation. And this is also affecting the greater disintegration of the third and fourth dimensional fields, which are you know, on their way out. We had sped up and a little... Um, Slightly, this wobble, um, Gaia said that we would come into balance with that over the next 72 hours. So by now, because I um, brought this through quite a few days ago, uh, this should have righted itself. So all of this has contributed to this discombobulation, this speeding up and this shift through our access point, creating a, a little wobble that we felt in the planet, on the planet, and in ourselves. Guy says this will create openings of awakenings, burgeoning all over the planet, and especially for the beautiful masculine in our world as, as they are really coming into their heart openings and their spiritual awakenings to a greater level. So the solstice, Guy said, was bringing anticipation that this day will begin a wave of aha moments for humanity to clearly see the illusions and distractions. So that was her letter to us. And then something that's come through today um, is this. The sonic boom and the solar flash will come like a huge lightning storm that lights up the sky all around the world and all at the same time. It will move through the atmosphere with this resounding sound like a cracking of a whip that cannot go unnoticed. The flash will also be like a lightning flash, much like sheet lightning, but will be sustained a little longer than a normal lightning flash. It will be a little bit eerie and maybe a little bit frightening for many. Darkness may come with that. We are not ensure, uh, entirely sure how long the darkness will prevail. There will be another planetary speed up, another planetary shift through the galaxy, another movement further into the photonic belt. We are going through a series of warm-up exposures, a bit like when people are building up their fitness. We are building up the fitness of the human body to be exposed to these higher level frequencies and energies and to be able to house them in a way that brings ease with as little discomfort as possible. So yes, there is another axis shift, not a pole inversion, but now the axis shift with another two degrees to go. 
So we will have moved three and a half degrees after this next movement as we moved approximately one and a half degrees through the solar eclipse, which is what created the sense of um, being on a wobble, being discombobulated. So all of this, Gaia says, is in preparation for us to be in our rightful and correct position in the galaxy, holding up dimensional energy in our golden light with our fifth dimensional song and essence pulsing out across the multiverse. So just a few more details about the sonic um, event. Back to the sonic occasion, I want to say it is likely that we will enjoy this because those of us who know what it is will be able to sit in the joy of the experience. But for some, the experience will be more endured. It is likely that it will take place over three days with a lot of weather variants and activities from winds to lightning to thunder to downfalls and to swirling. This is because of the electromagnetic impact on our solar system. The particles in the magnetosphere will be affected by this solar event. It creates this polarizing field of energy between the sun and the magnetosphere, which can block out the sun through the particle shifts and create electrical lightning. You can see you as you no, sorry, you can see this as a beautiful light show and enjoy it as it is the ceiling of our new sun, our new light, this higher dimensional light, the solar light, which is more nourishing for humanity. It's exciting. And then there will be, with this arrival or arising of the new or old return, plant species. Plant species that could not exist in the lower densities, they will begin to grow anew. And there will be many insect species also to begin with that will be held here in this higher frequency and will rebirth here. And then we will move through to other variant animal species on our planet, returning to our world. It's a wondrous time to behove, Guy says. Breathe through it, my beloveds. So that is the latest from Gaia. So wishing you so much love from my heart and from the heart of Gaia and I will see you again soon.